Hello there and welcome. In this video, we are going to go over the 2025 season DLC and go over also how you install and get yourself up and running with it, get started and how you can play it yourself. Now, this is called a DLC, but it is actually a mod. It's an unofficial DLC. It is a mod that you add to the game. As such, this is available for PC only, not really available for the consoles. And that is an important distinction to make. This is basically just a very, very big mod, a very, very well made mod but it is still a mod in uh, in essence. So do keep that in mind. This will be for PC only. And in this video, as mentioned, we shall go through kind of how you can install it and what you can expect from it. Let's go with this. The uh, 2025 season DLC is basically a uh, group of modders that decided that they wanted to bring, well, the 2025 season to FMI 24. And they've done a really good job at that, if you ask me. Some of the key features is the update 2025 grid. We have new team liveries, new driver helmets, new team wear, updated driver ratings, as well as accurate car performances, update regulations, expanded driver pool, track sponsor updates, UI enhancements, and even a 2025 intro. So they actually put in quite a lot of work into this, and it's actually quite impressive in that regard. There's also an installation manual here, but basically this mod can be split into two parts. You have download the visual and some of the information from uh, Overtake here, and then you do the rest of the edits in the database editor. And that is actually as simple as just clicking basically eight buttons, but I'll show you how that works in just a little bit. Now, before we go any photos, further, I do want to give a quick shout out to be cheers to Lil Onion, Bonax, Griselu, that Dinja Dude, Nax, and the Fire Nexus, as those are the ones behind this mod. And honestly, it is uh, pretty sweet looking, let's be honest. There's changes to deliveries, there's changes to how the tracks kind of look here. And uh, they've even changed, well, the race view, or rather the race information view here. So they've put a lot of effort into this, and it is pretty amazing, if you ask me. But yeah, once you are at Overtake, if you want to get this installed for your game, you head over to download here, you are going to need a account. But once you've downloaded that, you are basically in business. And what we are looking at here is going to be this right here. Basically, once you click download, you are going to get a file similar to this after you unpack it. And if you go into 2025 season DLC here, you are going to find a bunch of pack files. Pack chunk 5 here are the new names down to, well, basically new cyber wheels. And what we're going to do here is that we're just going to copy paste these pack files. Basically, every file is not just pack files. You cast and you talk. We're basically going to copy the entire contents of this folder to the in-game. As you can see here, common, Steam apps, Apple Manager, content packs. We're going to copy everything into the pack folder. And this is very straightforward and simple, as you can imagine. And if you want to uninstall this later, you just delete these files. That is literally how you install pack, uh, pack modes for Apple Manager. It's incredibly simple and straightforward. And we basically just copy paste all of this into this folder. And that is, again, step one out of two. Now, if you don't know how to find your pack folder or your save file folder, I do have a video that goes a little bit more in depth to that. I'll be adding that in a pinned comment, as well as, of course, the uh, 2025 season DLC on Overtake. You can find that again in the pinned comment if you want to try it out yourself. But basically, again, this is just how you install the mod files themselves. And from here, we are going to be using the database editor for the second half. So once you've actually installed your... Uh, the pack files you can fire up your game you can create a completely new save game which is highly recommended that's the only way you're going to get full advantage of this and once you have created that new save game all you need to do is just drag and drop like so and now we have loaded our new fresh save game from here we are going to want to navigate to this one up here the 2025 season dlc and as i mentioned the way to install this is very very simple it's just clicking all eight of these and you can even choose the ones that you want for yourself you can ignore some if you want but in our case here we are going to time travel to the end of 2024 like so and this basically has changed the the date so to speak to 29th of december 2024 which means that we are actually starting in january in the 2025 season so you'll have a lot of time to actually develop your car too we can add the extra drivers missing staff new f2 f3 drivers new f1 academy drivers you can change the driver lineups to mirror reality. You can change the stats here to give a little bit of a stat boost to Bottoletto, Antonelli, and Piastri. 
And of course, the calendar does need its fixes, like starting Australia, choosing Belgium as Sprint. These aren't the only things they changed, though. It's actually the actual calendar. Past that point, it's no longer a thing, so we uh, get rid of that. ATR, performance changes. And just like that, you're basically ready to uh, get started with the Steel Sea. Again, it's pretty straightforward and simple. At this point, if you want to, you can change you know, some of the other settings as you see fit. But basically, again, this is a very, very simple way for you to install the 2025 Season DLC. It's a little bit of work because you're going to have to do this with every save file. But it is genuinely the best way they, they can make this work. And it works actually pretty well for the solution that they've chosen. Now, the next step here is going to be to download our save, which you do by clicking up here. And then we just move that back to the save folder. And then we can load up that save in game. And that is exactly what I'm going to do now. Now, after I've basically gotten that save back, we're going to go ahead here and load it. Like so. We are confirming we're loading. And what we should be seeing right now is the changes that we applied. We now have Hulkenberg, we now have Bordoletto, which does mirror the reality here. We can see how last season went, because they have actually added that in too. We can see how Championship went, all that sort of thing, portion of the pick crew. But basically, as you can imagine here, they have tried to make everything as similar to reality as possible. And as I mentioned, they've done a good job at this. We're currently 29th December 2024, which means that we are just going to continue here to start on the 2025 season. So again, pretty good thing. We also have staff and drivers. Merged for the uh, as they can. They have added some, but that's just how things are. But genuinely, this puts the game into, again, 2025 starting situation. We have a staff in, we have Hamilton and Ferrari. We have signs of Williams. And again, just pretty well done all around. That's all I can say. And from this point on, I'm ready to play. The mod has been installed. The changes have been made. We are ready to just cruise off into the future. Now, another thing that I would also like to just quickly mention is the fact that the manual that comes with this game is actually what well, comes with the game comes with this mod. It's actually quite extensive. And in this case here, you can see that they have a Season DLC manual. They have contents. We have the introduction here, which again, developed by Virtues, Onion, sorry, Lil Onion, Bonex, Griselu, Dutch Ginger Dude, Nax, and Fire Nexus. So again, shout out to these guys. They did a good uh, good job here. And as you can see, these are the instru uh, installation instructions. So if you're struggling, go ahead and take a look at that. And it's just going to make your life a little bit easier. Now, the main thing that we're actually showing off here is going to be the new change of visuals, like the state car, the new outfits. And as I mentioned, they've done a beautiful job on, job on the liveries here. So you are getting that full 2025 experience, including the, the updated visuals. But yeah, they've done, a, they've done an amazing job. Nothing around it. You can even see they've changed helmets for a bunch of drivers. They've changed track sponsors. They've made some UI changes here to uh, make things look better. And as you can imagine, this did take a lot of work and it has been a very, very well done thing. So just want to give them a little bit of a shout out, out here at the end. But we are going to be playing this. If there's anything you'd like to see me try in terms of the 2025 season, let me know. And we'll see if we can get some fun stuff going. But thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you will be enjoying this as much as I will in future. And I shall see you next time. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Helps me out a ton. Bye-bye for now.